Why am I always out of breath when I start videos? Anyone else like do any like menial little tasks like walk down the hallway and you get back to the room and you're like, just living my life. I'm just always out of breath. Okie dokie. So <laughs> we are caffeinated. I've got some iced coffee, which is a really weird mix of like actual like Stoke iced coffee. And then I just had cold coffee from this morning and then ice and here we are. <laughs> Actually does not taste bad at all. I mean, coffee and more coffee, of course, tastes delicious. So today we're doing a full face of drugstore makeup. Some of these are old love, some of these are newer to me. Some of them have just been sitting in my stash for a while and I wanted to use them some more. So it's a solid mix. I also have two e.l.f. brushes I've never used that I wanted to give a try today. Of course, if you enjoy this video and you like drugstore makeup videos, makeup videos in general, lifestyle videos, I do them all here on my channel. I would love it if you subscribed. It is free, it helps me out a lot, and of course it makes my videos easier for you to find in the future. Okay, let's dive in, shall we? So we're gonna start with this Revlon Pore Reducing Primer. I really have been enjoying this, and the only place that I put it, I've already like moisturized an SPF a little while ago. A couple of caveats to this is every time you squeeze it out, there's always a little hard thing, even if you use it every day. <laughs> I pretty much only use this on my nose, and then whatever's left on my fingers, I'll kind of fan out in my T-zone area. My nose <laughs> is the notorious N-O-S-E. Like it is just so, I don't know, like it's oilier than the rest of my face. I really do have a normal to dry skin type, but I feel like my nose is sometimes weirdly dry and foundation looks weird on it. And then other times it's so oily and weird and so nothing stays on it. No matter the sitch, it's also always red. So I'm just constantly battling with it. So I feel like this does a good job at least filling it in. So when I'm in a rush, this is the step I cut, but when I have the time, I really do think this does a great job. I'm a little torn with what I want to use today. I grabbed the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. This has actually been living in my bathroom when I'm doing like four minute makeup. This is what I throw on and I'm really enjoying it for that. And then I also grabbed the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. I have the shade 405. I haven't used this in a hot minute and I remembered liking it. So I think I'm gonna use that today. I was kind of just back and forth. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe, actually, I might put on this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer first to the rest of my face. This is one that, again, primer is something, if I'm gonna use it, other than like that pore filling one, I pretty much only use a glowy primer around the rest of my face, basically. So like on my cheeks, even on my under eye a little bit, and then my forehead. And whatever's left, I'll like maybe toss on my chin. I just, I think this one is so nice, it does have a smell, it's kind of a pleasant smell, but it's definitely there. So I think if you're not into having fragrance in your facial stuff, you probably wouldn't like it. But this is under 10 bucks. I wanna say it's like six or seven bucks. And I think this is a lovely primer, absolutely on par with like all of the other more expensive glowy primers I also have and love. I am working on very, very soon my drugstore dupes video. I do them once or twice a year. I really take my time. I think I've got enough to do a video now. So stay tuned in the next few weeks. That will be coming. If you want to see some of my other dupes videos, I'll link my dupes videos down below because you could binge them. I still stand by all of the dupes I've discovered over the years and it'll save you a whole lot of money. Okay, okay, okay. So now that we are primed, let's do the L'Oreal one. I think I remember this being slightly light for me, but I like that it's in a glass bottle with a pump. I always feel like I'm living in 2012 when I say that because now so many foundations come with a pump but back then everything was like in a dump bottle and so it was just difficult to use so I'm gonna use my very dirty stop judging me I can hear you from here Paw Paw sponge it's like a dollar fifty on the shop miss a site you just have to wait a few weeks to get it the shipping takes forever I literally have a drawer with like seven of these in there unopened because they had like a dollar shipping one day and I just went crazy and just bought a bunch of them because they're my new favorite. Absolutely love them. So I'm just gonna blend it in. I remembered this having like pretty good coverage, but it didn't look like totally mask-like and that can be hard to find with foundations that do have decent coverage, right? Like a lot of times they don't mesh with the skin as nicely, so they just like sit on top of it. Also, I finally found these like creaseless clips. They, now they sell them everywhere. I saw Hilary Duff wearing it in her Vogue video that I copied on my channel. And it sounds negative, you know what I mean? Like I recreated her look. Anyway, and I fell in love with them and I wanted them and now they're everywhere. I've even seen them on Sephora's site, but I bought these on Amazon. It was a pack with like pink, white, and black. And the idea is that they're supposed to not crease your hair. Honestly, I just like them, whether they crease it or not. My hair is like air dried and kind of weird and like half kinky, wavy, half straight. So 
I don't really care if it creases it, but I just, it's great. It holds the hair back and they're like weirdly trendy right now. Who would have guessed that like, I don't know, something like that would be trendy, but <laughs> it is. Yeah, this does look a little light for me, doesn't it? Oh well, I'll somehow survive it. Sometimes I giggle when I watch videos of people like, that's the wrong color. I feel like I've done this numerous times, so maybe I've just, <laughs> I've transcended and now I can giggle at other people <laughs> that are doing the same thing I did, okay. But just when people are like making, it such a dramatic moment that something isn't the right skin tone. Yeah, I've definitely been guilty of that. <laughs> How dare you judge other people, Jesse? Let's look at it up close here. We are in pretty much natural light. I have two small lights, but it's really just the window light. It definitely covered a lot, like the redness on my nose. I feel like it's sitting nicely. Look at that. You can still see the sheen in my skin. I remember, and I don't know why I thought this. When I first saw this and saw that it was called Fresh Wear, I thought it would be more like dewy. And then as like I tried it out and I watched other people try it out, we all like collectively realized, no, I think it's more like a full coverage, but it really does like let your own skin shine through. This is so beautiful. Cool, 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 cool. There's a little torn with concealers, but this is the one I've landed on, the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I've only used this a couple times, so I really do need to figure out how I feel. I have the C3 shade and I'm just gonna use like two dots cause this, it's a lot. And then I'm gonna use a brush. I have got to clean my brushes. You guys, how long is a stay at home order? But like five, six weeks? I have no excuse. Why have I not cleaned my brushes yet? I just haven't. So I'm just gonna kind of press it into that area. I'm trying to be better about only using what I need and really using it where I need it. And I really just need it there. And then I can fan it out a bit, but I feel like I always like cover everything. And the reality is I don't have darkness to cover here. And then it just gets into my fine lines there. So. Just being smarter about how much I use. So it definitely covered like any of that blueness. So without and with, that's nice. Does anyone else feel like the weeks right now, maybe this is true always, but especially right now are flying by faster than normal. Like the weekend will come and I'm like, okay, it's the weekend. I have like mixed feelings about the weekend now because I'm like, I don't, like there's a part of me that's like, I don't know, what do I want to do this weekend? Like we can't go do much. So in the weirdest way, I like, this is going to sound awful, like dread the weekends because at least during the week I'm working, so I'm getting stuff done and I that's just the way I roll. So unless I have like a project I'm doing over the weekend, I I don't love them right now. Is that not the, am I crazy? Anyone else? So anyway, of course in the end I always end up enjoying the weekends. We'll Zoom with people, we'll do like game nights with friends on Zoom. So it ends up being enjoyable nonetheless, but I don't know, that's just the way my brain works. I like being busy, I like having schedules. And on the weekends right now we don't have, you know, big set concrete plans and that bothers me. Okay, why did I bring that up? Weekends, oh, the weeks are just flying by. Like the weekend will come and I'm like, okay. And like today is Monday and I'm like, yes, let's go, let's work, I'm in a great mood. And then I feel like I blink and it's Friday again. And I'm like, what? I don't think it's like perfect. I don't know, is it because I'm not blending it well? Could be, I don't think it's bad. Like it covered nicely. This is again available at Ulta and they have their regular, Conceal one, I can't think of it. Conceal and Define, and then this is Conceal and Hydrate. I do think I prefer this one over it, but I'm, I don't know. We're just gonna see. Oh crap, I forgot I had this, the e.l.f. buffing foundation brush I wanted to use for foundation. I just cannot find a brush I love for foundation, you guys. I really can't. I've tried so many that are out there that are like people's holy grail, and I just would prefer a sponge or my fingers. I, you know what I mean? I feel like no matter what brush I use, it ends up being either streaky or like weird texture and it just doesn't look right. But I also have this ultimate blending brush and I've heard people use this for like cream, contour, cream blush, things like that. So we might do that today too. I have this ColourPop Brow Boss. I have the shade Ash Brown and I think I remember it being a pretty good match for me. Uh, I don't have caps on these because my toddler takes them all off. <laughs> I had to spend a minute like doing this to kind of warm it back up and get rid of the dry part that was exposed. Um, but I think we're good. Get a little bit more definition, especially on like the bottom there. That'll do. So we definitely need to powder this concealer because as it's sitting there, it's just getting kind of weirder. I don't know that I love this. I'm really into using like just a corrector shade there right now the past few weeks. So I haven't used like liquid concealer a ton. And now it's starting to catch on to like little dry spots I have. I'm just gonna use the thing, it's like the only under eye powder I'm using right now, the number seven. Lift and Luminate powder. This is like the stuff I always talk about that like flattens your under eye. I can't explain it other than that. It's so amazing. See what I mean by it just kind of gets that area a little bit flatter than without it. 
I'm not loving this concealer. You can see how it's just catching so weird. So I've been wanting something to give me a little bit more control. This Wet n Wild contour stick, you guys know I love. I think it is fantastic, but it is a little harsh on me when it comes to the color. It's not the perfect bronzer shade for my skin tone. And so because of that, I feel like a lot of times I'll do it on camera, but that looks really good. It's creamy, it's easy to blend, it stays really well. But then when I get in daylight, I'm like, oh, it's a little orange for me. So I wanna be a little more careful. So I'm gonna try to use this e.l.f blending brush, the ultimate blending brush with this and see if like, maybe if I just get it on my brush, I'll have a little bit more control. You see how orange that is? Okay, now I'm gonna wipe some off cause it's like already, that's how creamy this stuff is though, which is nice. Yeah, that already looks so much better. Again, it's still a little orange, but like it's so much less than, you know, with a lot of other sticks I have, like the milk one, I'll just draw it on, but it does end up being a little bit much. This brush is so soft. I have, feel like I haven't tried e.l.f. brushes in a hot minute. And as I'm like rushing through the store the other day, grocery shopping, we needed like allergy medicine. So I was in the area of the store that had this and I was like, I'm just gonna grab like a couple things. I was glad I grabbed these really quickly. This looks so much better. It's so much easier to work with this way. Who was I watching just the other day that was applying a bronzer like this? And I was like, yes, 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 yes. So it looks nice. I think it looks a little more natural. Well, obviously it's still a bronzer and it's doing its job, but are there other shades of like the bronzer that you guys would recommend? I'm trying to think if there are any. Okay, so I wanted to try this. It's a little bit newer to me. This is the Revlon powder blush. I'd never seen these. It's their Oh Baby pink color. I actually bought this a few months ago at the store, but by the time I had opened it, it had like cracked in a couple places. This color is Oh Baby Pink and I just feel like it's such a nice springy pink. This brush, my gosh, I get so many questions about this brush. This is the Zoeva, Zoeva 111 Petite Face Finish. I like it for blush because you can just kind of tap it in the area you want. Ooh. This definitely has some color to it. It's really pretty though, but it's definitely pink. So like if you're not in that, but it's not like a blue tone pink. It's just, it's like slightly blue tone. I can't explain it. It's just such a perfect springy pink. They had a couple of other shades. So just FYI. The highlight I wanted to use is one that I have been using behind the scenes so much and I, you don't even make a dent. It's a loose powder and it's a luminizing one. So I use it as a highlight. This is one that Taylor Wynn introduced me to. I freaking love it. It is the most natural, gorgeous, loose powder highlight, but it's not glittery. So you don't feel scared to put too much on. You know what I mean? I just kind of go to town because it is, look at that. It's just so easy, you guys. I, uh, it's almost as if you could if you could come up with like a loose version of the Essence highlight that I love that's a little more natural, you'd get this. Like this is so gorgeous. It definitely has a sheen, but it's not glittery. It's not over the top. So you can put tons on and it just always looks so beautiful. It catches the light nicely. It's one of those that makes it look like, what, is she wearing highlight? I can't tell. Is she just naturally dewy? Maybe. So I wanna use a couple different things. I wanted to give some love to the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I've been enjoying these lately. This is the shade High Roller. And I really do think this might be the closest thing they have to bad to the bronze. I have these long fake press on nails on right now, so I can't like dig my finger in there. So we're gonna use it with a brush. And this is what I remembered about bad to the bronze. It definitely has like more of a cool toned look to it, which I think is so pretty. And I love that they've continued on with this. I, I don't know that they, you know, I guess they either renamed things or relaunched it, whatever. I also have the shade Socialite, and that one is definitely a lot lighter. So when I've used it, I enjoy it, but it's definitely a light wash of color, even if you're fair like I am. But yeah, that, that was easy to blend. So I also wanted to use this ColourPop Double Entendre palette. This is one that it's definitely a warm toned palette. So if you're a warm toned baby, here you go. But I really like it and there's some really pretty colors in it. And I really just wanted it for the blending colors just to blend something into the crease. Although now I've got this cool tone look going on. We're just gonna see. These I freaking love because they're so blendable. Like so, like this color right here is like such a perfect kind of blending shade. I love it. I have to admit it's taken me a while to get on the color pop eyeshadow palette train like I don't know they had so and again I still get mad at them because there's way too many launches although it's all slowed down now I will I still have to admit though that they really do have some really good palettes and I really do like their formula so if you find a palette that is like speaks to your soul then go for it because the price is right and I'm telling you I love the formula actually that doesn't look bad with that it kind of like melts it all together a little bit better I think why don't we throw a little bit of this kind of like golden shade it's like a light gold 
just on top because why not i just feel like their shimmers are nice and like pigmented but they're thin so i don't feel like it looks weird on the lid i can't explain it like some of them will look like thick on the lid but these i feel like because of the formula it looks really nice liner wise what do we have i have this sephora honestly i want to use this before it dries up because i have had it now for a while this sephora retractable eyeliner i really like this it's got this little smudger and i might smudge it a little bit but i just think this formula it's it's waterproof it stays really really well but you can also smudge it before it dries down which i also like and i just feel like when i'm in a hurry smudging liner is so easy you know what i mean and at the end of the day all i'm really wanting here is darkness at the base of the lash because i just feel like it makes my lashes look fuller and i kind of love that with smudging it it's like cleaned up but it's not totally cleaned up so when you look at it up close it just looks a little bit less perfectly defined and i personally think that's so pretty this is the nyx stay matte but not flat i recently repurchased this i just think it's such a good powder foundation if you're into like powder that has a little more coverage i feel like it blends things a little bit better together. If you're someone that uses lighter coverage foundations, you might like powder foundations because they'll like cover what maybe that didn't cover and it's really fast. But I think this one's great because it mattifies, but not too much. So you can still see a little glow in my skin, you know? So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I forgot I had this in my little bathroom drawer as well for when I'm getting ready quickly. And this is not my favorite mascara, but you know what? If you are, if your number one thing with mascara is to have it all separated, this is like the king of that. It really is. I'm also really enjoying, again, I'm a broken record, the L'Oreal Bambi Eye. Oh my gosh. Like I'm liking that way more than I thought because I'm not a big fan of these like fake bristled brushes, but that stuff, man, it separates and it lengthens and my eyes just look like literally Bambi eyes. Like I cannot... Stop wearing it. If you've liked my lashes in the past month, it was that mascara, I'm telling you. See what I mean? It just totally separates. It is a nice mascara for that. And like talking about a good mascara for lower lash line, definitely this. Have any of you guys tried my weeknight dinners? I did a video last week if you missed it, or if you're new, about my three like favorite 20 minutes and under dinners that I always make when we're like in a rush. And it's like all ingredients that you most likely already have at home, really simple recipes, really fast. I keep getting pictures from you guys like on Instagram of you guys making it. I had so much fun doing that video. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Even if you're not into like cooking videos or anything like that, or maybe you don't even like to cook, but you just need some ideas. I'm telling you, these are so fast. I have PDF recipes you can print. I typed them up myself. So if you watch it and you want to make it, you can print your own version so you don't have to keep like referencing the video or anything like that. So for lips, I was going to use my Milani Little Easy Liner. This is in Most Natural. And these are just so creamy and easy. This is a little bit more of a brownish nude, but it's not overly brown. It's so good. And I like to color it in just a bit so it's not so starkly lined you know what i mean one of my tips i've talked about in like my invisalign video is a lot of times because i get lipstick on my invisalign that's why i haven't used a lot of like crazy bright colors on my lips right now i only have by the way like two more months and i'm done and i cannot wait but i was talking about tips to not get it on there and one of my biggest ones was just taking a good lip liner and just coloring your lips in with it and then put a clear gloss on top because then the color is not really going anywhere lip liners pretty much stay put but then it's still moisturizing, glossy, but the clear gloss getting on your Invisalign doesn't matter. You can't see it. So I love that tip. And honestly, it's kind of one that like, I feel like I'm going to use even past all of this time. And then I wanted to use, I know I keep using this, but I think it's such a great lipstick. This Maybelline lipstick in Flush Punch. It's like the perfect, simple pink. It's not bright, bright pink. It's a little bit more nude, but it's not brown. Um, Cause I just don't, brown lips, I, I'm just picky about, I guess. And it's just, these are so creamy, they're comfortable. Did I say the shade is Flush Punch? But it's the Maybelline one and it's their cream line. And I think their cream line is so nice and so, so pretty. I might even pop a little bit of this L'Oreal Colory Shine in uh, Varnish Rosewood on top. I just love all of those lip products. Honestly, I just wanted to use all of them. Okay. <sighs> that was fast. I feel, well, I'm saying that. We're going to see. It's going to take me a hot minute to edit it. I hope this was enjoyable. Of course, I always have all of the things I mentioned, the prices and links down below. I hope you subscribe to my channel to be able to catch more of my videos. Of course, if you want to binge watch any, I've got playlists down below. Some of my most binge worthy ones, in my humble opinion. <laughs> those are down below. And of course, I'd love to say hi to you in the meantime on my social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun everywhere. Don't forget to 
catch our weekly vlogs, which are over on my husband's channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. Tyler Braun is his name. And we put those up every weekend. Thus, I always talk about like beauty and makeup over there. So if you didn't know, like you're gonna get your beauty fix. Don't even worry. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching all the way to this point. Holy moly. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.